So now this circuit is a simple pulse generator with two NPN type transistors. And the purpose is when you give a high input, you get a quick flash, a pulse from the LED, and then it's off even after you let go of the switch. And it stays off again until you give it a high input. But when you give it a high input, you just get a quick flash, a pulse. So now wiring this together, we start with two NPN transistors. This is the 2N3904 and the flat side's facing the right, or if we turn it this way, it's facing us. So that makes this the emitter, the middle pin, the base, and then the top pin up here, the collector for both of them. Now, this one is just basically wired so far just to be on all the time. The emitter is to ground. I don't have the battery applied right now, but uh, the emitter is to ground. The uh, middle pin here, the base, that's to the positive rail with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. That'll keep the transistor on. And then uh, this resistor, one kilo ohm resistor, limits the current going through the uh, transistor. One kilo ohm resistor. And then again, this one's really similar. Down at the emitter, directly to ground. The collector up here has a one kilo ohm resistor there. Now, this one's going to be controlled by the switch. So the base, the 10 kilo ohm resistor, comes from the switch to the uh, base of the transistor. See the, the uh, switch lead there. And then uh, when I close the switch, that will connect it to the positive rail. Now remember, with these push button switches, all the ones that I have, this uh, top row here is always connected. So I could plug something in right there and it will always be connected to that positive rail. Same with this lower rail. If I connect something here, it will always be connected to this row. The separation is from top to bottom. So when I push the switch down, that's when the top and bottom areas connect. And also I want to mention that the uh, positive rail on that side is connected to the positive rail on that side by the red jumper. And the negative rail, the ground, is connected that rail to that rail by this jumper. So I can plug the uh, battery into either side here and it will power both sides. So now in this circuit, the switch is the input. That's the one that we control to make the circuit do something. The output is actually the collector of uh, this transistor here. And so that's where we're going to attach our LED. So you can see here we got positive coming to the collector there. And so we need the long lead of the LED, the anode, plugged into the same row as the collector of the uh, transistor. And so now the shorter lead, the cathode over here, which needs to be more negative for it to conduct, we're just going to use a jumper wire, plug that into the uh, same row. I'll plug it back here, just easier to see what's going on right now. And then just directly to the negative rail. So this is our output. If you remember when I pressed the switch, we got a quick flash. We're worried about what this is doing for, uh, for whatever reason. Remember, this is just a prototype circuit, but the purpose of this circuit is to make this LED pulse, to make it flash quickly. So that's our output. And now we add the capacitor. So the capacitor is a 0.47 microfarads, basically half of a microfarad. It takes 1 million microfarads to equal one farad. So we would need two million of these capacitors to equal a one farad capacitor. That's if they were parallel. But in any case, this is a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. This capacitor is the largest non-polarized capacitor that I have because sometimes, depending on how you're looking at the circuit, it'll be positively charged and then sometimes negatively charged. So we can't use a polarized capacitor. You can never negatively charge a capacitor. It has to be charged in the right direction. But in any case, as I said, this uh, transistor is normally on in the circuit. In general, bipolar junction transistors are normally off, 
but uh, this one's always connected to the positive rail by the 10 kilo ohm resistor so that will keep it on now you'll notice over here too that uh, this side of the capacitor is connected to the positive rail too and uh, when we hit the switch though that will turn this transistor on and then that current will flow down over here to negative and the capacitor will also be connected over to negative and so that'll make this more negative this more positive but ultimately it makes a negative connection to ground or to the base of this transistor briefly that turns this transistor off and then uh, current has to flow through the LED there because remember normally this is positive here but when we close the switch ultimately that makes a connection from negative over to ground here and that transfers over to the base and since these are NPN transistors when they get a negative voltage to the base that'll turn it off but once the capacitor charges fully that will stop it doesn't pass direct current it only passes changes in uh, voltage and uh, ultimately current and then so you'll just get a brief basically a pulse a brief change of voltage that turns this transistor off and allows the LED to conduct but then once things stabilize the transistor will turn back on and the LED will turn off so even if we hold the switch once we let go of the switch the capacitor will normalize but that won't affect the LED and then it will normalize until we press the switch again and it all starts over and finally we attach the uh, 9 volt battery here and we test out the circuit now I've been kinda lucky it's been working pretty good mechanical switches are really bad for controlling a uh, circuit like this they don't make and break connections perfectly well I'm really having a lot of luck right now uh, sometimes it might not flash until you get a connection you can see if I wiggle it like I, I kinda make and lose connections even though I'm still pushing it down and uh, sometimes like right there you saw it flashed when I let go that's because I lost connection somehow but uh, when I started letting go I made a quick connection so mechanical switches are really bad for this but this is just a prototype circuit just to get some experience building it and learning what's going on it's not really a practical circuit but uh, it's very educational <laughs>